Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on SAP Build Process Automation Training with me, Anubhav. In our last episode, we talked about the concept of building our business process action in the build process automation. We have learned about how to configure the destination to be able to invoke the external API specifically from our company S4 HANA system and then configure the actions in the build to be able to get the sales order data for a given order number and its corresponding items data. In our today's session, we are going to proceed further and we will look at the concept of understanding our business process scenario. So we will create a completely new use case. We will learn how to build a process by integrating these actions, which extracts the data from S4 HANA. We will then configure an approval form <clears throat> where in the approval, we will send the order header details and item details to the approver. We will also do a dynamic decision configuration where the approver determination will be done at runtime. Then we will handle conditions and create a visibility scenario. Yes, that's the main topic of today's class. We will build and of course save and publish our process, release it. And then finally configure the build work zone site where you can start the process. So if your process is starting from a form, then you can actually create a tile on build work zone. So this was also a request from one of you in the past. Anubhav, can I create a tile in build work zone? Rather sharing the link with my business user to initiate the process. You will be able to see that. Then we will talk about how to configure process visibility dashboard for the end users to analyze the KPIs. We will talk about testing the process with multiple orders and analyze the dashboard at the end. So this will be a very interesting session with a lot of new concepts being introduced. The first part of the session, you will see predominantly more or less the same thing what we have done in the past also somehow. But the second part is pretty new and interesting for us. So let's get started and understand our scenario first. So I would like you to meet different personas over here. So the first persona is the citizen developer. The job of citizen developer is to design and deploy the business process with process visibility scenario. This is where you and me come into picture. But for who we do all this development, we do it for our users. So we have different user personas here today. So what is our broad requirement is to start a process with a order number. The input to this will be an order number. This order number data is stored in my S4 HANA. You can see all that stored in VBAP, VBAP table. We will retrieve the order details from S4 HANA using our action, which was configured in the last episode. Then we will determine the approver based on the sales organization of that order. And then finally, we will configure something called process KPIs. What is KPI? Key performance indicator. So if you look at a student in a class, what are the KPIs of a student? KPIs are how many hours they study. What are the marks they scored in mathematics? What are the marks they scored in English? Yes. What time do they go? Are they, are they punctual on the school? Yes, what is the overall percentage of attendance? These are the KPIs. Based on that, success of a student is measured. On a similar manner, KPI of a sales department is what is the total sales, net sales, net profit. All these are KPIs of a sales department. So if somebody would and want to analyze these KPIs, they need to see some kind of a dashboard. And that's exactly what visibility scenario actually does so when you company you build so many processes but ultimately the top management of the company would want to know how effective these business processes are how efficient they are how good are they performing what are the main pain points of these business processes so they can further give you requirement to improve the processes that's where <clears throat> the visibility scenario dashboard or visibility scenario comes into picture. 
So just creating and deploying a process is not our goal. Our goal is to bring total transparency in our business process to the top management of the company. So look at here three persona. The first is the sales representative. Their job is to enter a sales order number in the SAP build work zone tile where we they can trigger the process. So till now, how we were triggering the process either through an API, through a Fury app, but today you will see how to trigger your process through the tile in the build work zone, which is the most most suitable way for any business user to talk to our business process. Then once they start the business process, the process begins, decides the approver and send an approval form. That approval form goes to my inbox app of the manager. The manager there takes the necessary approval or rejection of the order with their internal assessment. Once the approver reject, a email will trigger or a form will trigger informing the agent that it's been approved or rejected. And finally, the entire process gets over. But throughout this entire journey, there are many things happening like data is being fetched from S4 HANA, agent determination is happening based on organization. Then manager is going to take some time for review. So how much time are they taking? Sometime they are not in a condition to take decision. So the work item remains into the inbox of the manager for months and months. So they are not in a situation to take decision due to flaw in the process or there is some other flaw or delay in the overall business process. So as a sales head, I would want to track the progress of business processes which are currently ongoing related to sales order approval in my company. This will bring total transparency. That is our goal where we would like to build a nice dashboard to give an insight of our business process to the sales head of the company. So they will know, okay, this type of uh, manager or this type of sales organization, all the work item are going to Raghav and Raghav is not approving it. So Raghav is the problem. Or let's say this type of material, whenever it comes inside an order, that particular order is long, long pending. Somehow the delivery is not happening. So the process flaws can only be identified once we give it transparency. And that is what process visibility scenario does. So a bit of theory on visibility, process visibility uh, cockpit or scenario. The process visibility capability within SAP workflow management service provide end-to-end -end visibility and intelligence to the process which runs in the cloud, on-premise or in hybrid environments. Now, the process visibility capability provides visibility on the business process with their extension to enable process excellence by first providing real-time view of an entire process regardless of the platform it operates. So suppose you run the same business process 40 times with 40 different orders out of which 35 orders data was retrieved by five order data was not retrieved. So how the top management will know where it is getting stuck. So it gives a real time preview of the entire process. Then it will also help you to integrate processes which are outside your SAP BTP environment. Like you can have BTP workflows that can also be added. It also tracks the process dependencies. Suppose you have a process order to cache. Once that is done, then only you have another process procured to pay. So these process dependencies can also be tracked with the visibility scenario. It provides X enable insights to steer the process forward and provide performance indicator, the KPIs, like a student have a KPI to the business, to the top management to understand the current and past performance of a business process. The capability provide process workspace to track processes in real time. So there's something called process workspace tile where all the processes can be tracked, searched, filtered and analyze KPIs or performance indicator and view the detailed information about an instance. So this is process visibility, what you will typically have. Now, if you want to learn more theoretical aspect of process visibility and more detailed preview of it, then you can actually check the 
documentation link which i will provide as part of the material so as part of our study material this ppt we are providing this link you can go to this link and you can read more about it however i will show you practically so that you can understand it better so the whole idea is we are doing it for our sales head yes and that's why we need to run this entire end-to-end -end process so it's time to get in into the system and trigger the whole thing now and let's begin to build our process and click this visibility scenario dashboard and wahala i've got five instances cool now so you see completed on track you can filter so the sales head can see what are the instances which are at risk or a, which are at critical stage remember the five minute time frame and 10 minute time frame we we did so that they can they can actually filter out if time exceeds and then they can go to any of the instances which are completed they can actually view the overall details about that instance yeah so that is what they can actually do you see the complete process how much time each step took in the system it's showing there it's showing there nice and beautiful you can track it you can track it so this way the top leadership of the company will get complete transparency of a business process in our company in our organization and you can see a nice graphical dashboard also and you can see total net amount by sales organization so it was 803.22 thousand that was the total net amount by sales organization ccpl we did not approve yet the other one if i do that and collect the data then i will see another one also this is the custom kpi we added to the dashboard so let me do that so i go back again and i approve the last one which is this one for a another sales organization which was 16 so i click on approve once approval is done i will get one more work item which is approval confirmation yeah it's approved i click on submit and this is also now done so as a result if i go back and recollect the data yeah our last computer to reprocess the data yeah you have to do this is very important done and then you can come back to your dashboard again and you will see the total amount per sales organization that custom kpi which we added so i go to the dashboard and wahala you will see here the sales organization wise so you see ccpl and 16 so there are two for ccpl one for 16 so and then you can also see the total amount you see ccpl 803 and 16 so 500 000. so this kind of a beautiful dashboard they will also get it the custom kpi they can analyze how the overall processes are doing well in my organization based on process visibility scenario so it gives a very meaningful information to the top management about what's going on with your business process to find the flaws to find the issues to find the difficulties and eventually overcome them by improving the process with continuous improvement amazing amazing so that comes to the end of today's class i hope you enjoyed the concept of process visibility scenario i will catch you up in the next episode till then happy processing and goodbye